y'all how you doing so i just got back from hobby lobby and i'm gonna show y'all what i got okay so first things first i got these um they're called patio paints um basically what i wanted was some outdoor paint that was gonna be like weather resistant and water resistant so that you know i wouldn't have to be like constantly repainting all my little pots and stuff like that um i don't know i mean they're just they're like little plastic ter terracotta looking pots and I just kind of wanted to like spruce them up a bit and you know I love to paint and things like that but I don't know it's just um when you're painting on a piece of paper it's not exactly like functional I guess but if you're if you're doing something like painting pots that are outside that you know you just it's a lot more uh practical I guess you could say so it's a fun little project that I'm working on but I got red blue and yellow because uh basically to save money because i know that if i mix these primary colors up that i can pretty much get um any color that i want and then i also got brown black and white because if you've ever mixed your own paint you know that it's a pain in the ass to try to get the perfect shade of brown or black or any of that and it just i don't know it's very time consuming and in my opinion, I think that it wastes a lot of paint, so, um, yeah, and then can't really make white, so I got that, so I'm thinking that, you know, with a combination of all six of these, I can pretty much get, um, any hue that I want, and then, got to get these right here, to help me do that, I got these little, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but they're just like these little paint pots. So I'm thinking that when I mix them, um, I'll probably just mix them in here. And then, you know, instead of having to recreate that that perfect shade every time, I can just open up one of those. I also got this uh, clear, out of the way, this clear acrylic gloss. And um, I'm also thinking of using those paints to paint like shoes and then selling them on Etsy. I don't know. I, I guess we'll see how it goes, but um, this is basically just kind of like a clear gloss coat, and it's also um, waterproof and weather resistant, so I'm probably just going to spray the um, pots and possibly the shoes with that just to kind of add a little bit of um, extra protection. So yeah, uh, this was about, yeah, this was about six bucks. The paints were about $1.79 each, so not bad, and then little paint pots on the two bucks no three bucks three bucks yeah so you know then i got uh this little sketchbook it has 400 pages there was also another one by the same company it was like brown and it was basically the same thing but this one was made of recycled paper and i always try to you know buy things like that just to i don't know i guess support the eco-friendly kind of stuff because i'm I don't know, just, you know, every dollar that you spend is a vote for what you believe in. And I don't mean to sound all, like, preachy here, but I don't know. I You know, I, I try to do the little things that I can. I feel like it kind of adds up after a while. It's, it's good karma, you know. I didn't mind spending an extra dollar. It has about 400 pages, and it's made of recycled paper, acid-free. Yeah. It was originally about nine dollars but sketchbooks were like 40 percent off so it was like 550 or something like that yeah i got a pretty big discount um and i got this big old watercolor pad thing and it was definitely um from when i saw at hobby lobby this thing was definitely the most the most bang for your buck there were other brands and they had like pretty much the same thing they might have been a little bit more durable and a little bit higher quality but this thing right here it would like let me tell y'all this shit i just looked at that stuff and i was like are you are you fucking shitting me like i'm not gonna pay okay so it was like 12 or 13 bucks for like 12 pages i was just like are you shitting me yeah i don't know maybe i'm just cheap or whatever but i, I wasn't about to pay like a dollar a page that just kind of sounded it just smelled like some bullshit you feel me <laughs> okay so yeah this stuff i'm not exactly sure how many pages there are but it comes with a lot more than 12 pages as you can see and they're they're a pretty good size 
and it looks pretty durable to me feels pretty durable so my main thing was just like I mean I I I use watercolor on like regular paper and things like that I don't know if you can see it but um those are some of my paintings and those have just been on like poster board and paper and I mean you know it works it works pretty well but I I don't know like I, I just got tired of like after it dries you know it kind of has all those like wrinkles and val valleys in it so yeah I just I just wanted something a little bit more quality I guess you could say so yeah that was my basic uh basically end of my haul um everything oh this by the way this was about $16 but I think I got it for like nine or something like that. I don't know it was 40% off both of them and I ended up saving about 10 bucks so you know not too bad um yeah everything was basically under the whole haul was under $30 so it definitely wasn't bad but yeah I hope y'all enjoyed that and I hope you have a wonderful day bye bye